Welcome back for the final portion of the circles module. So I'm going to go to my circles tab and I'm not going to make you watch me flip through all this. I know that we need to do this page. So what I've done here, I've given you um, a table. This is called a table or a matrix sometimes to fill out and I've given you one piece of information and you're supposed to get the rest of it for me. So this looks pretty tame. It's, it looks like it's not a lot of work, but it is. So I may need to make two videos about this, I'm not sure, but um, let's dive in here and you already have circles on your page. I don't because I wasn't sure how much room I'm going to need. So hopefully I have left you with enough room to um, do what you need to do. I tried to condense your notebook as much as possible, but um, I hope I've left you enough space. Anyway, here is the first one. And let me go ahead, I need to put myself a circle in here because for me personally, I have to see a picture. It's just who I am. So if you don't need the picture, that's fine. You don't even have to use it. But this is circle one. The, the numbers down the left are the problem numbers. And I gave you the information that 18 feet is the diameter. So I'm going to go ahead on my picture and draw that in there. Remember, diameter must pass through the center. So diameter is 18 feet. And immediately I can tell you radius because I would just cut that in half to get the 9 feet. So we already have our first answer. And I do want you to include the unit because that's important with area. Okay, to get circumference, I'm going to say C equals pi times D. That's the formula that I prefer. You can use the other one. It's okay. I don't know circumference, that's why I'm doing this, but I do know pi and I do know d. I can look at the chart or at the picture and get that. So circumference is approximately 3.14 times 18 and that is 56.52 and circumference is just plain units. So I'm going to put that problem in up here and then we need to do the area for this same circle. So area is pi r squared. I remember once I had a student and I we were in the middle of class and I said, pi r squared, and he said, no, it ain't. And I thought, um, what is he talking about? And I said, yes, it is. Pi r squared is the formula that we need. And he said, pi is round. And I finally dawned on me and I said, yes, it is. That's a different kind of pi. <laughs> But that may help you remember the formula. Pi r squared is your area formula. Okay, we don't know area. We're about to know area. But we do know 3.14 is pi. And we know radius by looking at the picture is 9. I never leave myself enough room for area. It's a much more complicated formula than I realized. So 9 times 9, that's your power, and that's 81. And then you bring down your pi. And the final step is to multiply. Area is 3.14 times 81. And it's 254.34 square feet. 
So I'm going to try to squeeze that in up here. 254.34 square feet. Or feet square, however you want to say it. Just need the square in there somewhere. So circle one is finished. And hopefully you can see how this works now. Okay, let me scroll up and make myself a space for circle two. And I think probably I'm only going to get two on this page, so I'll try not to squeeze it all together. And let's go back and get our clue on this one. I think I'll use green on this line. And this time they tell me that the area is 113.04 square meters 113.04 so that's where we have to start the area formula remember pi r square whoops I know the area so I'm going to put a pocket there because I know that I know pi but we don't know r not yet in algebra, folks, this is another one for you if you've had that course. So 113 point, I forgot, sorry, 04. And pi is 3.14. So for you algebra folks, and even if you've not had that class, you may be getting this by now because we've seen several of these have to divide away 3.14. And I'm not going to go into why, just trust me on that. So r squared, be careful, that's not r, that's r squared, is 36. Take the square root of that side, That'll give you an R on that side, so R is 6. And then I'm going to go over and I get to draw in the piece. Make the center. Centers are so important with circles. And there's R equals 6. So if R equals 6, D equals 12. So we have two more pieces for the puzzle. R is 6 meters. And you may say, how do you know it's meters? That's because of that little M right there. So diameter is 12 meters. And then we need to find circumference, and we'll have this good to go. And I told you I wasn't going to do that. I'm sorry. The zooming is obnoxious. Okay, circumference is pi d. We're looking for circumference. We know pi, and we know d. Look at the picture. d is 12. So circumference is approximately 3.14 times 12 is 37.68. And remember, that is just plain units, not square units. So this is meters. And 37.68 is this final piece. Just plain meters. Okay. Let me slide this one back into frame so you can see what I've done there. This is problem two. And for problem three, I'm going to need to add a sheet of paper. So bear with me just a second. I don't have a sheet. Oops, there's one I can swipe for a moment. So let me move this one up where I need him to go. 
and I have another piece. Okay. So this one, um, three mile radius. Okay. Number three, we have a circle with a three mile radius. So I definitely can go ahead and draw that one. I know the radius, I need the picture. So let's put him here ready to go. And this is problem three with a three mile radius. So if R is three, D is six and miles is the unit. So I'm going to put that in there. Okay, the first thing I need to find, it, it doesn't matter, you could do C or A. C is easier, so let's get it first. Pi is 3.14, and D, look at the picture, is 6. So circumference is approximately 3.14 times 6, or 18.84 miles. And then area, the formula is pi r squared. We don't know a, but we know pi. We know r, look at the picture. And I have a little bit of work to do there. That's three times itself, which is nine. And then 3.14 times nine. So area is approximately 2826 square miles. So this is another finished problem. I need to go back to my table though and fill this in. Let me get these because I'll forget them. Remember area is square miles. Circumference is just plain linear miles. And then the diameter we're supposed to fill in. Okay, we're getting there. Hang in there with me. We're almost finished with circles. So. Okay, number four, they tell me the clue is that diameter is 11 yards. So let me put a circle down here. Put him right there. And I'll zoom back in. This will help me know how to set up your notebook. I think you're going to need another page too. So I'll just make your notebook like mine and we'll be fine. And I've already forgotten the clue. 11 yards on diameter. So draw it. Put your center in, because that's important. Diameter must go through the center. So we'll put them here. It doesn't matter which direction you draw it. It's fine. And D is 11. I forgot the unit. I have no memory, guys. I'm sorry. I just can't remember things like that. It's because I'm talking all the time. But, um, Okay, and then radius is half that. Be very careful. If you need your calculator, use it. 11 divided by 2 is 5.5 yards. And there's no need to panic because it's a decimal. It's okay. It's just a number. So half of 11 is 5.5. Five. I like to do circumference first because I think it's easier. Pi is my good friend because he never changes. It's a constant. And D in the problem is 11. 
So circumference is approximately 3.14 times 11, and that's 34.54 plane yards. And then area, the formula is pi r squared. Don't know a, but we do know pi. And we do know r, look at the picture, be careful. r is 5.5. .5. I definitely would take the time to write this one out. 5.5 .5 times itself. Five point five to the second power is thirty point twenty five. And then multiply that by pi. So area is 94.985. They did not tell me to round, so I'm not going to round. Square yards. And guys, I know this seems like a long way around because I could just put that in my calculator and be done. But I want to remind you that on an exam, this could be the answer, this could be the answer, or that. It, it, we don't know what they're going to ask for. With circumference, it may just be that part. They may not want the answer. They may just want the setup. So that's why I'm walking you through every single step. I don't want you to take shortcuts and then come up short on the test. Okay, so let's fill this in on the table. I'll have to go back and forth. This is 3454. And I can't remember, 94.985, maybe. I'll check it. Uh, radius was five and a half yards. Circumference is five, uh, in plain yards. And then let me be sure. I, yes. So this is square yards. So there's row four. All filled out based on your clue. Okay, the last one, they give me circumference. So we're going to need to... Um, do the circumference, and I think I'll just do this one with black ink. 2512 is your circumference. So let me put in a picture, even though I'm not quite ready for it. I'm getting there. And they did give me the circumference. They told me that it's 25.12, and we do know pi, so we are about to get diameter. Okay, and this was inches, I forgot to get my unit. So algebra folks, here we go. Remember, this is the dividing line that is absolutely not straight. Um, you need to divide both sides by pi. And you're left with D. That is not to the second power. That's just plain old D, which we want. We like D. And D is 8. So if you draw that into your circle, you want to put, plot your center. And let's mix it up a little and go this way this time. So diameter is 8 inches. So radius is half that. That would be 4 inches. And then here comes area. 
a equals pi r squared. You notice I write my formula every time. I know this formula like the back of my hands, but I still write it every single time. R is 4. That's why I write it, so that I don't write the wrong number into the pocket. So 4 times 4 is 16. And then you're coming on down to simplify. And you simplify by multiplying that on through. So 3.14 times 16. Your area is 50.24 square inches. So let me write that in here, 50.24 square inches. And then our radius and diameter were eight and four. Four yards, eight yards. And this is a skill builder. <laughs> if you can do those, you are in great shape. You, you can consider yourself a master of circles for the level that we need it to be do want to remind you that in any circle there are 360 degrees. That has nothing to do with what we're doing here, but it is a fact that you need to know. So five problems, some algebra, some all kinds of things in there. This is a very good little exercise to do. Okay, we are to the end of this module. We are halfway through the course. If you would like to try the circles exam that is in your course platform, and I strongly encourage you to do that, make sure that you can do these problems without me because I am not going to be there on the test with you. I will be there in spirit, but it's up to you to get the answers right. So please make sure you call me if you need me. If you have questions, I am here. I'm willing to help you. And I'll see you in the next module where we'll be looking at three-dimensional shapes. Have a great day.